With us, cons conservation continues to be the most effective and cheapest solution for saving the shrinking Great Salt Lake. That was the most common concept shared today at the second annual Great Salt Lake Summit. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, the summit highlighted measures that are working and ideas worth exploring. Out here on the shore of the Great Salt Lake, the lake is as far from the shore as it's ever been. The lake is at its shallowest point in history. So all reasonable solutions are on the table. But this truly is an all hands on deck moment. And I would make a call out to every citizen of the state of Utah to do your part. Joel Ferry, executive director of the Utah DNR, says every gallon matters. And many Utahns act that way. Utahns collectively saved 9 billion gallons of water during the summer through voluntary conservation. Conservation has to be our first choice across the board, period. Not only does it have to be our first choice, it's, it's actually the most cost-effective choice. And so before we get to, the, to where we're spending tens of billions of dollars building pipes somewhere, let's, let's do conservation. No single solution will restore the lake to greater depths. Like we need to explore every option. I mean, we need to explore options of going to the, you know, the Midwestern states, if they have excess water, if we can enter into contracts with them. He says that's a long shot, but they need to brainstorm. In a series of panel discussions, key players in Utah water policy talked about everything from more ways to conserve water in agriculture, businesses, and our homes, to more creative and costly solutions like cloud seeding and bringing water from out of state. A lot of the low-hanging fruit is getting close to being picked. Uh, this is going to get trickier. It's going to get harder, uh, but what I think will make the difference over the long term is we continue to see Utahns do what they've done this year. A recent poll by the Deseret News showed 80% of Utahns are concerned about the lake, and nearly that number think we should continue to invest in solutions. Last winter, Utah lawmakers invested a half billion dollars in conservation. But you'll see another year this coming session where there's going to be a significant investment in water conservation and all the things around it that will help preserve and protect the Great Salt Lake. Both men last month traveled to Israel with the governor and saw a greater level of respect for their water. They hope to incorporate some of those ideas into our practices. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowles.